Go to Settings, General, About. Check the software version of the phone, iOS 13.2. Tap Display and Brightness. The True Tone has been turned on with the switch being green. Turn off the phone and take apart the phone. Disconnect the battery and remove the original screen. Continue to remove the front panel sensor assembly flex cable. And install the detached cable to the new aftermarket screen. Get the aftermarket screen installed. Press the power button to turn on the phone. Tap display and brightness. The true tone option has vanished. Power off and remove the aftermarket screen. Now, let's restore the True Tone with the Multifunctional Repair Programmer. First, connect the Display Extended Module with the Programmer. Next, connect the original screen with the Display Extended Module. Press the Check button on the Programmer. The indicator light is on. Continue to press the read button on the programmer. The programmer starts to read data. Once finished, disconnect the original screen. And connect the aftermarket screen with the display extended module. Press the check button on the programmer. The indicator light is on. Press the write button on the programmer. The programmer starts to write the data to the aftermarket screen. Once finished, disconnect the aftermarket screen. Now we can assemble the phone and test. Get the aftermarket screen installed and connect the battery. Press the power button to turn on the phone. The phone turns on normally. Tap display and brightness. The true tone has been turned on with the switch being green. The true tone has been restored back. Press the power button to turn on the phone. Tap display and brightness. There is no true tone option. Connect the phone to the computer. Open the WL Assistance software. The cover board number of the phone has been read automatically. Continue to power off and disconnect the phone from the computer. Take apart the phone and disconnect the battery. Remove the aftermarket screen. Now, let's restore the true tone without the original screen. Connect the aftermarket screen with the display extended module. Connect the multifunctional repair programmer to the computer with the green connected button appearing on the WL interface. Click the detecting button. Then choose the corresponding model from the drop-down model list. And check the box next to the model list. Continue to click the write info button to write. The previously read cover board number to the aftermarket screen. Once done, click the Read Info button. This is to confirm that the cover board number has been written to the screen. Once finished, disconnect the aftermarket screen. Now we can assemble the phone and test. Get the aftermarket screen installed and connect the battery. Press the power button to turn on the phone. The phone turns on normally. Tap display and brightness. The true tone has been turned on with the switch being green. The true tone has been restored back.